Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, though? What's popping? What's happening? What's going on? You're back in the lab with your favorite neighbor, your man, Mark Nash. He is I. I am he. Another great episode of Breaking Beats. How y'all feel? What's the deal? You already know what it is. We break down business, entertainment, art, technology, sports, anything else you and I feel like talking about. It's a hip-hop political sports show with a comedy twist. We like to let the jokes fly. You know why. Life is serious enough. All right. Life is... uh getting serious for Tank Davis as usual, but it appears he has been sentenced. Tank Davis, boxing champion, Javante Tank Davis, of course, has been sentenced to 90 days of home detention uh, due to his uh, 2020 hit and run. Wow, it's been that long? Wow. So this hit and run happened in 2020. A judge sentenced the Baltimore champion, Javante Tank Davis, to 90 days of home detention in Baltimore, plus three years probation, for a hit and run that injured four people, including a pregnant woman back in 2020. Davis will serve his home detention at the house of his longtime coach and trainer, Calvin Ford. He must complete 200 hours of community service and take part in other programs. Davis is 28, now lives in Parkland, Florida, appeared in front of the Baltimore City, I'm sorry, Baltimore Circuit Judge Althena M. Handy. Um, this was on Friday afternoon. He pleaded guilty to four traffic offenders with no agreement in place for the sentence handy uh you know was upset at uh davis for refusing to say uh you know for his refusal to apologize to one of the victims of the crash i believe this name is jayar smith j-y-a-i-r it's the lady who was pregnant um three words here's the quote from the judge three words i am sorry end quote she said and he was not man enough to do it, end quote. They say he showed no remorse. His sentencing comes just days after he scored a major victory and probably one of the most anticipated fights in recent history against the one and only Ryan Garcia. You know, he scored that seventh round TKO due to the body shot. Actually, it was a full 10 count. It wasn't even a TKO. It was a straight knockout. He stayed down for the whole 10 count. This was uh, April 22nd back in Las Vegas. So November the 5th, though, that's when the accident happened. It was November the 5th, 2020. Davis was at, here's a little backstory. A lot of people don't know this, how the hit and run happened. This is interesting. November the 5th, 2020, Davis was at the Medusa Restaurant and Lounge in downtown Baltimore and left in the 2020 Lamborghini, right? He was on his way back to the Four Seasons Hotel. Baltimore, Baltimore police were escorting him. He had a police escort. At some point, somehow, for some reason, Davis turned away from his police escort. He ran a red light at about 1.50 a.m. on MLK and Washington Boulevard, and he struck a 2004 Toyota Salada, right? And crashed into the fence at the 7-Eleven. Later, another car showed up on the scene. Davis and a woman got in the vehicle and left. Now, Circuit Judge Melissa M. Finn, I don't know if y'all remember this, she had previously spoke out and rejected a proposed plea agreement that would have him, you know, not go to jail. She spoke out in opposing, uh, I'm sorry, she spoke out and she opposed the deal. And she said, I beg, uh, oh, the girl who got hit, the pregnant lady, she, she was real mad about him getting that deal with no jail time. She said, I beg Mr. Javante Davis, I beg Javante Davis, I looked into his eyes. She said, I have to get home to my daughter. I'm pregnant. She said he never came over once to help me. So that judge was like, nah, just because this victim, you know, he, I guess he made a deal with all the other victims. But this one right here, she was like, nah, I don't just want the money. I want this dude to go to jail. All right. So, uh, you know, that we, we were set for trial, but he went in there today, played guilty and. Shoot, uh, as y'all know, Davis has a perfect record, 29-0, 27 KOs, West Baltimore native. But um, this isn't the end of Tank Davis' troubles. As y'all know, the Broward County Sheriff's Office arrested Davis on the charge of battery after a woman reported that he slapped her on the right side of her head at his mansion. 
And that was what, two days after Christmas, December the 27th. You know, Tank Davis, I remember he spoke out. He said, I'm not a monster. I've been quiet for too long. He since deleted that tweet. The woman also, I believe that's the child's mother. She since filed an affidavit stating that she doesn't wish to testify. She said, um, you know, it was absolute. It's her absolute, complete and full desire that the criminal prosecution be withdrawn and terminated, end quote. So. I don't know where it's going to go, but as of right now, he's set to appear back in Broward County Court on May the 26th. So what's that about 21 days from now? So we'll see what happens with that. The story's still developing. I'm going to let y'all know what's going on with that as we get more information. Now, on the flip side, on the boxing news, Canelo has some things to say about Tank Davis. What'd he say? What'd he say? Well, he was talking about how a lot of people were calling Tank Davis the face of boxing. And Canelo... Say he ain't having it. He said, nah, I'm still the face of boxing. Not you. <laughs> Let me put this uh, quote on the screen. Canelo said it takes, uh, explain what it takes to be the new face of boxing. He said fighting the best over and over and over again, moving up and down in divisions, being undisputed, doing what I've been doing my whole career. So that's what uh, Canelo had to say about it. He also uh, had some comments to talk about Ryan Garcia staying down in the fight. I'll get to that in a moment. But Canelo was like, yo, you gotta, gotta do more. He also said he still considers himself to be the best pound for pound fighter in the world, citing his own accomplishments, especially the fact that he went around and unified all the belts in 11 months, fighting four times in those 11 months. So he said, I like Javante Davis a lot, though. So he's not a hater. He said, I like him a lot, but he just needs to do more things to be the face of boxing. Ain't nothing personal. And he said, um, yeah, he said, but in not so many uncertain terms, like, yo, I'm still the face of boxing. You got a long way to go, kid. I see you at the top if you make it. You know what I'm saying? And some would say Canelo has a point there, you know, but then some would criticize Canelo's resume and his ranking as well. As you know, he did lose to Baval. And went back down and fought Triple G. A lot of people want to see, still want to see, and now he's fighting Ryder. People want to see him fight the uh, the David Benavidez uh, type guys. They want to see him fight uh, Bubu Andre. They still want to see him fight some guys that they recognize and they think are the top guys. They want to see him mix it up. David Morrell, shoot. People still want to see the Charlo fight uh, against him. Some people. But y'all leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all think of this story. What do you guys think of Javante Davis? Get 90 days. Again, 90 days of uh, house arrest. 200 hours of community service. He got to take some classes. And he's going to be on probation. Probation. How many years did I say probation? I forgot already. How many years did I say he got to be on probation? Man, I forgot. Just that quick. We're rewinding take to the beginning. <laughs> rewinding to the beginning. I think I can't remember if it was three years or four years. I forgot already. But that that's a that's still a long time of probation, three or four years. You know what I mean? But it was four counts of hit and run, and it was a pregnant woman in the vehicle as well. So you got to be held accountable. So yeah, man. Y'all leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all think of that. Also, let me know what y'all think of Canelo saying. Tank Davis got to do more. You're not the face of boxing yet. You got to do more things. You got to accomplish more going up. Because some would say Tank Davis has been up and down the division. But did he fight the best? Did he fight the top guys? Was he trying to unify? Was he trying to be undisputed? Uh, it's a lot to unpack. We'll talk about it later on, I'm sure. It's your man, Martin Ash, Breaking Beats. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.
Oh yeah, it was three years probation. Three years probation. All right. All right. Three years, ninety days, two hundred hours of community service, house arrest, and you got to take some classes. Y'all think the punishment was fair? Y'all think the punishment fit the crime? Y'all let me know. Shaman Nash breaking beats. See you on the next one. Peace.